Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfective Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone Chess tutorial from scratch and this is part 16th of this video session series in which we are going to discuss about moral inheritance in Backbone Chess. So guys, if you are a beginner from this video session then I strongly recommend you to go to YouTube, type online web tutor and search the playlist of Backbone Chess where you can find the several resources about Backbone Chess tutorial which we have made totally for beginners from scratch. So let's get started from modern inheritance in Backbone Chess. This is the coding where we are going to add our code of inheritance. So let's discuss about the word of inheritance. Basically guys, inheritance means inheriting the features of a parent. Means to extend the functionality by taking the parent's features is called inheritance to object. This is the model that we have created so far where we have defined a constructor method for that and the message is written parent model is running and we, we have also created an object of f model so let's save this file go to browser and refresh your page this is the message that as, as we can see parent model is running so let's make an another model by extending this model suppose we are calling this is a parent model for now it's a parent model Now we are going to create a child model which extends the features of f mod. Just copy of that. Let's make comment of that. We have created a child model which extends the features and functionality of f model. So here f model is acts as a parent for child model. Just make copy of that. Let's create an object of that. It's child model. It's an object. So let's save this file. Go to browser and refresh your page. Once you refresh, you can see parent model is running. Still, it is calling y because we have created the child model which actually extends all the features and the events which actually defined under parent model that is backbone.model and under app model so child model calls the inslice method so just create a, another method under this app model parent like playing So we have created a playing event under this parent model where we have written a simple statement like parent playing method. So let's call this event by the help of its child model object. Just copy of that. Go to browser. After refreshing, type child model dot playing method. As we can see, parent playing mod method is still scrolling by the help of child object. So we can understood that all the events which actually we defined under the parent model we can inherit all the features by making a child object. So here you can see that f model is totally extended or inherited by a child model. Okay, let's define our own events under this child model. Just save your file, refresh your page. As you can see, parent model is running. I type child model dot playing method. Here it is calling and I child model dot child method, which we have defined. So as you can see, this is the method which we have inherited from parent model. And here is the method we have defined under the child model. So all the features this child model object has inherited from its parent as well as uh, it extended the functionality by inheriting the parent model. 
child model also defined their own methods under this and also inherited all the methods which we have written inside this parent model so by taking these features by taking these parent features it's also inherited and extended by making some extra functionality under its section so it somewhere it enhances the functionality so what will happen if we make the playing method the same name event under the child model so let's make Just save your file, go to browser and refresh your page. Type child model dot playing method. Here is the confusion. Confusion is that we have defined the playing method inside the parent model as well as we have defined this name of event in the child model also. So what should the child model object called? If we are calling the playing event then by typing playing event what it actually calls this playing method or this playing method it will call the playing method of its own class because of before calling to the parent event it calls its own methods which actually defines so it prints the message like child playing method so just press enter as you can see child playing method because it overrides the features or the events that the parent model consists. It also defines the same attributes or the same event actually the parent model contains. So it overrides the features of its parent. So how can we call the parent model if you want to call this playing event inside this child model? So how can I call? So if you want to call the playing event of the parent model just we need to write just copy of parent model paste it here dot prototype dot what's the event name that is playing we want to actually inherit under this child event so playing dot apply and here into pass this so by the help of this statement we can call the playing event of a parent model so just save your file go to browser and refresh your page once you refresh type child model dot playing event as you can see parent playing method is also called and child playing method is also called this is why we call that by the help of f model it's a parent model dot prototype we went by the help of this code under this section and it calls the playing event so by the help of f model dot prototype we can call all the features and functionality of the parent model so by the help of guys model inheritance concept we can see that all the features that a parent model consists it actually inherited by its child model and also nevertheless by inheriting all the features of its model it also extend the functionality by making some extra functions inside this so we have seen how a uh, backbone model is much be more beneficial in backbone JS application where it can define its own function as well as it can inherit it from its parent events so guys if you have any query about the model inheritance in backbone JS application then let me know please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so if you are a beginner guys from this video session then i strongly suggest you to go to youtube so, uh, see all the videos of backbone JS applications that we have started from scratch so guys hope you like this video session then please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day